You're with the boss, Satano. How you doing, Dom? <laughs> Pretty good, my man. Hey, so uh, you're fighting tomorrow? Yeah, man. I'm and we're weighing in at what, at 160? Came in at 162. The fight was uh, contracted for 163, so... I mean, I'm under, man, so it feels good. Let's talk to us about the opponent. <laughs> the guy's name is Ronald Cruz. Um, Ronald Cruz, yeah, I think seven, another guy. 17 wins, 15 knockouts, uh, I believe three losses. Uh, tough dude, man. He's a hard-hitting uh, Colombian fighter, and uh, he comes to leave it all in the ring. How are we rebounding from that loss? Uh, fine, man. Like I told you, uh, I probably took like one or two days off after the last fight, and um, I've just been back in the ring for six months now, and training with Coach Eric Brown, I mean, I feel like I'm in the best shape of my life. And Eric Brown's one hell of a coach, man. <laughs> yeah, Seriously. he is, man. Uh, what did you learn from that loss, and what are you going to take into that fight tomorrow night? You know, uh, unfortunately, I had a quick weight drop for that fight, right. so I mean, obviously, I learned to prepare myself a lot sooner, so that's why for this fight, we started dropping a lot earlier, and I mean, it just shows, you know what I mean? Right. It's a big difference, so I mean, I learned that, and yeah, I just, I'm yeah, ready why, for this why fight. Why did you catch it at 162? Um, unfortunately, we had uh, three opponents fall out. Okay. Yeah, so you know, they had to make this this fight uh, at 162, but you know, like I said, he's a, he's a tough customer, and you know, we're here to do our job. Talk to us about the game plan. Give us a little bit of a glimpse. I know you can't give us the entire thing. Yeah, well, you know, he's a little wild, so we got to come out still cautious. He's very strong. Like I said, 15, 15 of his 17 wins are by knockout. Right. So, uh, we got to be a little cautious and uh, just break him apart. Yeah. What are we looking to do in 2017? Uh, you know, considering coming uh, for my managers after this after this fight, they said do this do well in this fight, and then something big should be coming. So at the stage that I'm on right now, something big means some type of title. So what goes through your mind when yeah. something big is being offered to you, man? I mean, it, it's honestly it's like a dream come true, man. Because all I wanted to do as a kid was be, be turned into a pro fighter when I was a young kid. I did that, and yeah. then my next dream became was to, be, to become a world champion. So. I mean, that's all that's next. How, how did it, uh, you get into boxing? How did that all, that all begin? My dad I remember used to, hearing stories in the amateur. Yeah, my dad used to be a boxer when he was younger, and uh, he got into a motorcycle accident. So he stopped boxing. Long story short, I used to watch fights with him while I was a kid. I fell in love with the sport. He, I took, when I turned seven, he took me to the boxing gym, and then the rest was history. And you've just been in love yeah, with the man, sense. I still love it. I wouldn't do anything else. I wouldn't do a nine to five. I love being my own boss, making my own schedule. It's, it's the best, man. Hey, same here, my man. I'm not going back to 8 to 8. Yeah, I'm, nine nah, to six. I'm good. Hey, so why don't you let your fight fans know why they should tune in or come by uh, at the Galen Center? Yeah, man, I want to invite all you guys to come out to the USC campus tomorrow uh, at the Galen Center. It's going to be an amazing card. PBC is trying to go out with the bang, and they have a ton of great fighters, including myself. So uh, I would love if you guys came out and supported me, and uh, I thank you guys for all the love and support. Let me ask you one last question. Give us your brief prediction on Koyad versus Mars. It's an extremely tough fight. Um, I feel like it might be a little bit of experience versus youth. Um, I feel like Koyar is the up and coming guy. You know, he's uh, recently crowned champ. But Abner wants to prove that he could be a world champion again. He can still hang in there. So I honestly think Abner can cruise kind of to a, a boxing victory if he stays cautious because like I said Koyar is extremely strong so my pick is Abner Mars. And your thoughts on Charlo versus J-Rock. Oh man that's a great fight. Um, to me, that's, that's you fought J-Rock. Yeah I fought J-Rock. You know, you know it's funny that um, J-Rock came up to me before the, the weigh-ins and you know he told me you know I have no hate in my heart. He's I don't hate you man. You know the fans make it out to be more than what it is. Yeah yeah yeah. And it's the same thing man you know what it is. I, I don't hate the guy. Yeah too. mutual gentleman yeah. And if we meet down the road, then we meet down the road, you know what I mean? And if it happens, I mean, it'd be a great fight. So, I mean, you're, you're familiar my, with J-Rock, so... Right. My, my prediction for this fight is, uh... It's tough, man. I'm in the air. No, everybody, it's, everybody's it's, it's a 50, the 50, It's a 50-50 fight, man. Charles is very smart, but Julian knows, knows how to cut the distance and work on the inside yeah. very well. So, to me, that one's still up in the air. But that's going to be a great fight to tune in. That's why I'm inviting everyone to come out. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll all be here, man. We'll be cheering you on, my man. Good luck to you, and we'll see you tomorrow. Sounds good, guys. See you guys right, there. Thank you.